Okay, I'm just going to quickly go over how to dodge and burn non-destructively. So typically to dodge and burn, you'd select the, for example, the dodge brush tool here. You would select the tonal range, and then you would select the pixel layer you want to work on. Then you'd go ahead and dodge the areas you wanted to affect. However, that is a destructive approach, and you may find later on in your workflow you want to revise that. So to do this non-destructively, what we want to do is add a new pixel layer here, and then we want to fill that entire pixel layer with a mid-grey. So you can do this by going to Edit and Fill, and then from the colour palette here, we want to move down to greyness, and then we want a grey value of exactly 50. OK, then we can click Apply, and we can see in real time the effect the dodge brush would have on this layer. So all that remains to be done is to set the blend mode to overlay. We can then go ahead and dodge and burn And at the end of it, we have a separate pixel layer that stores all that dodge and burn work. So there's a really handy technique, and it's good to know that if you're trying to develop a completely non-destructive workflow, you can quite happily incorporate dodging and burning into that. If you have any questions or queries, please do ask on the Affinity forums. Thank you for watching.